it's been two months of intense work to get the four-man sprint team ready for their date with destiny on the east coast of Australia and the coach Hartwell has little or no complaints about their preparation. It's going well. I, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at. Uh, this is a very high level of competition for us. What a lot of folks don't realize is that uh, in track cycling, and track sprinting in particular, the Commonwealth countries are the strongest in the world. You have Australia, you have New Zealand, you have Great Britain broken into England, Wales, and Scotland. You have Malaysia, you have Canada, and you have us. I mean, it's a hyper-competitive competition. So, uh, you know, as much as, uh, as, much as we know that, uh, the guys are well prepared. We had a great World Cup in Belarus, uh, so we're coming off that high. Um, it's, it's, it's been a, a challenging nine weeks of preparation for us, particularly on the equipment side. Uh, physically, the guys are ready. He believes a key part of their readiness in time for the Games comes from participating at the World Cup in Belarus. I mean, the reality is you have guys with a lot of experience. I mean, Quisi Brown and, and both Jusane have been around the block a fair bit. Jusane's had some amazing results, you know, over the past Olympic quads. So, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a been there, done that for some of the guys. You have some new talent like Nicholas Paul coming in, but he's also a junior Pan American champion, you know, and a silver medalist from last year's uh, Lee Pan Am champ. So, uh, the guys are getting the experience, but uh, I think it was important for us to go and compete internationally against the best in the world to show that we can compete um, and that, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're supposed to be there. An added boost for the team came in the form of new bikes, which arrived just in time for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, I mean, I think as we're all aware, you look at this facility, you look at the bikes, I mean, cycling is an equipment-based sport, and uh, you could be physically talented, but without the right equipment, you cannot compete, it's just not possible. And so we're fortunate uh, to have been able to procure some equipment for the guys, you know, over the past couple of weeks, and um, it's, it's, uh, it's going to make an immeasurable uh, difference. So. You know, we were we were literally on broken and borrowed equipment for the past month. You know, a number of crashes, just some stuff that uh, it's, it's worn through its life cycle, and uh, just bit us over the last few weeks. But uh, we're in a good position now, and um, I mean, everything's good to go. We're we're ready. How then would a successful Commonwealth Games be summed up for the Trinidad and Tobago cycling team? We have a policy, we never predict results. My only responsibility is put the guys in a position to be competitive, then we go race and let the dust settle. You know, we control the controllables and that's all we focus on. So, again, I like where we're at, I think the guys are fit, and uh, let's go race our bikes. The riders will fancy their chances in the team sprint, but success in the individual sprint and carrying events are also on the radar. For C Sports Extra, I am Kent Fuentes.